A report by the Volta River Authority shows the construction of a Polugu multipurpose dam is expected to displace over 4,200 people across 20 communities and affect over 3,200 farmers with an estimated 6,761.5 hectares of farmlands. These farmlands and settlements after the construction of the dam and its downstream irrigation will experience flooding. The report outlined the packages planned for every affected person. The affected communities to be located include Suhuluya, Kurugu, Barikiri, Gubei and Kwachui, all in the northeast region. Compensation packages include replacement of permanent residential dwellings at the resettlement sites with land title, provision of sanitation facilities by the project, while temporary structures such as farm huts will be compensated in cash. Compensations are expected to be paid for all lands and crops to the affected owners. Herdsmen, according to the report, will also be compensated for the loss of grazing land as well as share nut collectors and processors, small-scale miners and other micro-enterprises. Under housing, infrastructure and social services, the report said the following will be provided in both affected and resettlement communities. The construction of four chips compounds with staff accommodation, two health facilities at the Wulugu and Sami, four kindergartens, four primary and three junior high schools in addition to rehabilitation of six educational facilities in the affected districts. There will also be construction of feeder routes, ten community centers and five chiefs' palaces, markets, six mosques and five churches among others. There is also a livelihood restoration and assistance programs for all those to be affected. The report stated that the project will be located between the Upper East Region districts of Boku West, Garu Tempani, Binduri and Talenti, and the Burunkuru Yono West Mamprusi and East Mamprusi municipalities in the Northeast Region. The Deputy Chief Executive at the VRA in charge of engineering and operations, Mr. Emmanuel Dankwa Osafo, an engineer, gave details about the progress of work so far. At the dam site itself, we have surveyed the dam. Now we know where the dam itself will be put there. This dam also has a solar park. We've also surveyed where the solar will be. We've also seen how when we generate the power, it will go to join the grid. We have surveyed all that. Mr. Osafu said the report was detailed to ensure that all persons in the affected areas are catered for while the mistakes made during the construction of old dams like Bui, Bong and the Akon Sombo Dam are not repeated. Land Valuation Division of the Lands Commission. They are the people who value lands for government to pay compensation. We are not going to value the lands because we are an interested party. We've given it to an independent government body who will say that for this land you have to pay this amount of money. So they are also here, they are based on the, the document and data that the contractor gave, based on the land sites. They have marked everybody, they're giving them forms, there's a procedure, there are pictures. The Paolugu Dam is touted as the solution to the perennial flooding which causes mass destruction in northern Ghana. The overlord of the Mamprugu traditional area, Na Buhagu Mami Abdullah Shiriga, speaking through his spokesperson, Mba Tarana, appealed to government to ensure that the construction of the dam is completed on schedule. He doesn't know what is causing the delay, but he would rather appeal to the government to hasten or facilitate the implementation of the project as quickly as possible so that uh, he, the Nairi, will be very proud that it happened during his time. The Northeast Regional Minister, Mr. Zakaria Yidana, said the irrigation component of the dam, which is expected to create over 20,000 direct and indirect jobs, will help reduce the high level of migration among the youth. If this project is completed, the irrigation component of it will attract the youth to come back home and find something meaningful for themselves doing that will make them live decent lives the paluku multi-purpose dam project will store water for hydropower for downstream irrigation and for flood protection for people living in the white water basin the engineering procurement and construction contract for the paluku multi-purpose dam has been awarded to power china international 
which will build a 165-meter high dam on the White Volta River in the Talensi district of the Upper East Region. It will have a 350-kilometer water holding reservoir. Below the dam, the company will build a hydroelectric power station equipped with two turbines with a combined capacity of 60 MW. Part of the water from the reservoir will be pumped to supply a large irrigation system in northern Ghana. The Ghanaian government estimates the irrigation capacity at 25,000 hectares, benefiting 15,000 people living from agriculture.